All right, you guys, so our load's over here. Uh, he said we're getting three crates. So what I asked him, when you guys get crates, try to put your tarps inside of them. Uh, what that's gonna do is fill it up and you don't put any pressure on the, on the crate. You're just gonna tighten enough where it doesn't blow out. And you don't have to crank down on to the wood so it won't break. Even if you got like a short load where your uh, say it's like 40 foot long, this is a 48 foot trailer, still put tarps in there. Trust me, make your life easier. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna try to do is put the big one, the most forklift drivers they'll be really cool I've never met unless somebody's having a bad day whatever don't mind you know if they're gonna put in the middle like I asked they don't mind coming over here they even will help you lift your tarps if you need to uh, you can roll it off the deck like keep it up there but it's it's really low and I need my little workout <laughs> you don't get a lot of workout out here so any little workout will help Baby tarp in there. Or, yeah, that's fine. So, like this. Perfect. And I'll put those three in the other one. Should be good to go. Can I put those ones in there? Yeah. Won't work, but this yeah, will. Work, yeah. Okay, but these are okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I. We'll on top of the yeah. Okay. It, but I know why he's doing it, so it leans back towards the center. But maybe the oh, I think or he's gonna put that in the middle. I don't know. We're gonna see what he does. Yeah, that's what he's gonna do.
Man, the other forklift driver is cool. He let that guy strap and everything over there. This guy won't let me strap at all. <laughs> Whatever. Like I said, it's only eight o'clock. We'll be out of here by nine. We'll get through Dallas. And we're just, like I said, we're gonna run as hard as we can. Uh, we only got like 24 hours left to drive the next two days. So I'll have about, I'm gonna try to run at like 11 today, drive 11 tomorrow and take a 34. could do if you wanted to you can put a belly right through there if you want to tarps in the middle because I like as much pressure in the front and back coming down so So just go down strap and you'll bring my bills? Yeah, I'll get those straps up there and then uh, when you get the straps, you can just grab them when it's true with the wear. Uh-huh. the building and then call her and she'll bring it up. Okay, so strap and then come up front, then they'll get the bills? Yeah. Okay, all right, thank you.
What's up, everyone? We are here in um, Russell's Truck Stop, border of New Mexico and Texas, here off the 40. Uh, really love this truck stop. It's really nice. TA took over. <laughs> a lot of those people are not happy in there about it. Uh, the restaurant said a lot of people quit. So it was, it's always going to happen, man. I just, TA ruins everything. They'll probably ruin this place. <laughs> but, um, plan today is to get to Kingman for our 34. It's 670 miles away. I don't know. It's going to be very tight. So what we're going to try to do is to be able to try to do it, we have to stop off like picnic or rest areas. We cannot get off the freeway uh, just to get fuel. I'm going to get fuel, do my 30, all at the fuel, like in fuel. So we're going to do that. And then, um, we have to violate, we got to violate. There's nothing before Kingman, like for like almost, almost a hundred miles. <laughs> so, and the only, there's like a little mom and pop places, but I need to do laundry. I need to, I need to have facilities. I'm doing a 34. So we're going to hammer down today. We got to try to make Kingman, even if it's just the Petro and then, uh, that'd be fine. Uh, the one I want to stay at is the Loves. So we're going to try to make it. We're going to hammer down. It's 5.06 right now. So um, we're going to be rolling out here and we'll see you guys hopefully at Kingman. What's up, everyone? We're here in Gallup. We just got fuel. We got something to eat. Uh, it's been raining all day, as you can see. Pouring wet. <laughs> so we hit a couple traffic spots uh, that killed us to try to make it to Petro. Right now, we're short two minutes <laughs> i have five hours and seven minutes to drive and i have 309 miles to run so 309 divided by six is five hours and nine minutes so uh, we still gotta climb flagstaff we gotta climb the hill that goes into um kingman so might be one of those things you have to violate there's no truck stops before kingman the closest one is williams and it's like a hundred I think it's 100 miles exactly before the Petro. So then that's going to be almost two hours of killing our time to get home for Thanksgiving and all that. So we're we're going to see if there's a lot, a lot of traffic. Uh, I might shut it down early and roll out Sunday to get further and do a 34 Sunday and Monday. Uh, it might be another option. So we got two options. We're going to try to figure out. We're going to see. So far, you people cannot drive out here in the rain <laughs> i've realized that and it sucks so we're gonna keep trying to roll and we're gonna see uh what our options are gonna be and we'll let you guys know all right you guys i've never been here ever to fuel stop for the night this is in williams this is the loves so we're gonna do our 34 here uh we're 770 miles away so Monday we'll try to run about 670, be about 100 miles away. Let's go back here. There's not a lot of loves or pilots I've never been to in my career. This is one of them though. So what we like to do, I don't like parking by an island. I'm gonna park there. So what we'll do is go around. We'll go around the shop right here. Oh, come on, guy. I always park by the curb. The parking spot here to the left, it's on a downhill. You don't want to park on a downhill. When you're sleeping, you're going to feel like you're rolling off the bed. Try to avoid those as much as possible. Let's make a job, tanker. Let's go around here, buddy. I just don't remember it was being here. I don't know if this thing is brand new or what, but... My Milton friend again, he's 
been hearing Chase. He's been following me this whole time. Ah oh, man, all this is on an incline. What? What's up everyone? We are still here at uh, Williams, Arizona, UNR 34. Uh, I'm about to go take a shower right now. It's been raining on and off. Uh, it's been really cold out here too. So uh, we're in these states where you can start feeling winter time. So uh, in New Mexico, we saw a little bit of uh, snow. Uh, it's coming. So, uh, but yeah, this loves here is kind of a, it's my first time here. It's kind of weird because everything's on an incline or a decline <laughs> so you see this truck right here his cab's going downhill mine's kind of going up so i try to find the perfect one where i don't feel like i'm gonna roll off my bed <laughs> and then the loves is like down the hill so you gotta go down a bunch of stairs and stuff like that so as you see i parked way back there um i don't mind because i like to do the walk <laughs> give me a little bit of exercise even if i'm just sitting in my truck all day so um plan is we're gonna roll out of here at 4 a.m i don't know what this guy's doing so we're gonna take a shower get some meat for dinner go to bed a little early and then uh we're gonna try to make as far as we can tomorrow um, i'm hoping still at home depot i know you guys seen these videos and you hear me over and over this home depot dc out here in central oregon we've been doing a lot of deliveries down here towards union city and all that and uh at Prime really didn't do as much. So 
Um, I don't think we can make it because it's going to be like 600 and some miles. But uh, the other plan is going to at least try to make it to Patterson or uh, Lost Hills kind of area. I'm not there. We're not going that far. Uh, we're going through Bakersfield. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, actually, yeah. Lost Hills in uh, Patterson or something like that. We're going to figure it out. I'll let you guys know. So, um, but the loads are pretty good. I'll show you guys in the morning. Might do a pre trip of it. But uh, as you can see, we're down the stairs just to get to those loves. So, um, but we're gonna go take a shower, and then we'll guys see we'll get we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're still here in uh, Williams, Arizona, doing our 34. We're on 39, I think. We got here at 3:30, so that's 33 plus six. Yeah, about 38, 39 hour reset. Uh, I'm not in a big rush. Like I said, we'll be in Sandella or Patterson uh, by 4:35 o'clock, uh, and then we got an hour back. So being six right now. It'll be 5 a.m. California time. Yep. Not a big deal. Um, like I said, the plan was if I try to get to Kingman, uh, I was only got five minutes left and there was a lot of hills and stuff, so I couldn't make Kingman. Uh, if I did, uh, I would have been able to make that Home Depot spot or where we're dropping off. But it is what it is. It's not a big deal because we'll be there drop it off Tuesday morning no matter what and then uh, from where we're at to Wheeler Ridge to go home is only about six seven hours so uh, it's not a big deal so get home so I'm gonna call my dispatcher I'll let you guys know but I'm gonna call him probably around in towards in the day because he's gonna be really busy trying to get, make sure everybody gets home for Thanksgiving so I'm not gonna bug him this morning but I will remind him like hey Tuesday morning Give me a really long load going towards like Texas or something. And I'll go through the house and roll out over the weekend. Or give me a load to drop off Wednesday and pick up. And then I can go home. And then give me a long load for that one. So uh, I will not stand them telling me stay at home for the whole weekend. I'll be like, pay me 500 bucks then I will. <laughs> so uh, we're going to roll out of here. Uh, we'll see you guys later. What's up, everyone? Uh, we are here in Patterson, California. Um, we're gonna roll out of here tomorrow at 3.30, 3.45. Uh, we should get into San Francisco by 5.30, beat all the traffic is the plan. Uh, we can leave at three, because I got here at five, but we're gonna leave around 3.30, 3.45 is the plan. Uh, I did get a pre-plan. I did call my dispatcher and he did hook it up. Uh, during the holidays, you guys gotta communicate. Communicate is the biggest thing here in trucking. What's the plan? What's going on? So I did call him. I waited for him to take care of all the drivers in the morning, but I called him around about 1400. And he said that I got you a load going to SoCal and then we're gonna pick up a load in SoCal and you can go home. So I told him, I was like, can I make a bet where I'm picking up? He goes, let me see if you know. And I said, certain team going to LA. And that is the plan. It is uh, in Simbi Valley. If you guys watched a couple of my videos, I've been here twice. It's that place where the houses are right against their backyard. And if they open their bedroom, they could see their backyard. So for a small place, not a big like corporation, this is the first time I've been to a small corporation uh, more than two or three times. So uh, I'm really excited. I told you guys I really love it here. We get pre-planned. And when I was at Prime, we never, we would wait hours and hours for loads on holidays. I have a buddy that's still waiting for a load. Um, my buddy, Mike, um, just unloaded in Phoenix and they told him to dead home, deadhead home 400 miles to Albuquerque area, like New Mexico. So I love it here in Central Oregon. We don't wait for a load. Even during the holidays, we get pre-planned. So um, we're gonna take a shot right now at Love's We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, we just did our walk around. We're gonna roll out of here. Uh, it is about 3.50 right now. So we should get into San Francisco around 5.30 and we should get to the drop around six. Um, not hurt for time. We're gonna go to Wheeler Ridge. We already pre-planned. So uh, Wheeler Ridge is about six hours from San Fran. So uh, we're gonna be doing really good on time, even if they unload us at like seven they're open at six is what i see 
so I don't know what their day, day cab drivers look like and all that, but once they're all out of the yard, I'm gonna go check in, see how early can they check us in, and then uh, probably help some traffic in San Francisco, but hey, this will be the one time I don't care about traffic. <laughs> we got time, I just need to get to Wheeler Ridge, and that's it, and you guys know Certainty's pretty quick. We've been there several times, so I'm not worried about Certainty, and, um, but yeah. Uh, we're gonna get out of here and we'll see you guys at the location.